is Kanisha, co-host of this amazing podcast, Chop It Up with R&K. And of course, I couldn't do this without my fabulous co-host. <laughs> The hostess to the mostest, the beautiful Miss Lady in Red. Ooh, listen, I so love when you say that. I had to get something for you because you just do me so much justice. Hey, you know so much justice. So much justice. Oh, she's so modest. <laughs> Today's theme is the minute you start pretending mm -hmm. to be someone you're not, you become who you're meant to, to be. be. I love that. Yeah. The minute you start pretending, mm -hmm. you become who you're meant to be. Mm -hmm. I think that's a phenomenal conversation mm -hmm. as we segue into the new year 2021. Yeah. Yeah. Because so many of us pretend. Right. You know, whether it be at work, whether it be, you know, even in our relationships, you know, so, oh, so, yeah, you got a story. Goodness. Oh, God. Yes. yes. All right, let's go. Because <laughs> I was about to ask you. Okay, we need some honesty. Yes. Oh, my goodness. I was in the, in the beauty parlor, uh -huh. right? And I heard this, my stylist was talking to another young lady, mm -hmm. and, you know, I was just, what do, you, what, do you, what do you call it? Eavesdropping. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> and I was like, for real? That's a place? So what happened was a, a couple, a young couple together, and apparently the young lady has never taken off her wig or her makeup Ooh. for her man. I've heard stories okay? of that. Yeah. He dropped her off at the salon. Wow. Okay. And apparently went to get food or went to do something and apparently got back earlier than mm. the designated time. time. Right. So he saw her, no wig, oh my gosh. no makeup. Divorce. <laughs> my boy was, was gone, Kamisha. I'm Who's serious. That? Wow. Deuces out. Peace out. You left him? Yes. Oh, he didn't recognize her? No. He was like, oh, that's you? Oh. And she was not blaming the stylist. Like, why didn't you tell me he came back? Oh my gosh. This is a real story? This is a real story? Oh, God, listen. Kamisha, right. I was like, you for real? Wow. You mean to tell me? She said she gets up at 5 o'clock in the morning to put on her makeup and all that stuff before he wakes up. Listen, that's too much. That's too much. How long they been dating? How long? I don't know. Listen, I didn't get you didn't all of that. that. Damn, you, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm there eavesdropping and you know what I'm saying? Bring back the tea. Listen, <laughs> listen. It was just, wow. but I was just so in awe. Like, are you for real? Mm. Like, you go through all that extreme. You get about five o'clock in the morning wow. just to put on hair and makeup to, to so this man can see you all glammed up. up. Like, really? Come on. That that's I deep. think that was taking it too far. Yeah. I think yeah. that was definitely taking it too far. You know, I do all of this for yeah. that. Right. You understand? Right. But outside of this, you know me. Listen, I work out. Sure. 
Listen, I work out, so my hair, I don't fuss over my hair because I wash my hair like every other day. Wow. You understand? If I go running, I'm washing my hair. If I work out in a sweat, I'm washing my hair. Yeah. It doesn't mean anything to me. Wow. The lashes, the nails, and all that kind of stuff, I do it because I'm going out. Absolutely. When I get home, girlfriend, all this goes off. My husband got to love me for who I am. But you know what? That's all good and dandy, though. But you know I got to play devil's advocate. Of course. I don't mind. Because y'all already know. It's real out here in these streets. <laughs> <laughs> in these streets. <laughs> Ain't it, girl? Hey, it's 2021, <laughs> but it's still real. <laughs> Listen, it's so crazy. Do you believe that because we are competing with so much, Roxanne? But who are all you these competing? Instagram thought? Oh, I'm sorry, these Instagram models. Whatever. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm always like this. You gotta be a trendsetter. You gotta yes. set your own trend. You gotta be your true, authentic self. Yeah, but Roxanne, not Listen, everybody I'm doing that. Everybody's following the crowd. But, but, but why? Why? Because you feel the need to fit in? I have never was one of those people that wanted to fit in. It's something called the folks that look fly, the folks with the, the bad makeup, the bad body. Listen, they're winning. They're winning out there in these streets. Yeah, but are they true to themselves? No. You know Do mean, we know that they're true, happy? Being true to yourself is not paying the bills. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, you fly, you're beautiful, you look right, your body is right, you work out. Man, listen, you gotta you gotta keep up with the Joneses. If you wanna live good. Listen, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm so, playing I'm so listen, listen, I'm like, listen, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I honestly am. Because I'm like, I'm not going through all of that. I really am not, yeah. Kanisha. I mean, I go out and You're I'm like... You're beautiful to, though, Roxanne. Thank you, but You're you beautiful. are too. But I don't yes. know that we need to be zhuzhing up, you know, on an everyday basis. To like, keep, you don't think to that's keep extreme? That man, you I mean, don't think that's an extreme? To keep that man at home and know exactly where you're at, you always got to stay looking good. You got to stay Listen. right. He must Listen. not. He must never see you, ladies. Come on, y'all agree with me. He must never see you in your natural state. <laughs> what? <laughs> You know, it's the it's one thing that I used to always say. Listen, I'm not wearing a headscarf to bed and all that yeah, kind of yeah. stuff. It's like it's here. Yeah. You know, get over it. I don't care. Right. You understand? Mm -hmm. And now sometimes I find myself putting on the do rag, right, and right. you know, it's just a straight. You know, it's not one of these like big bonnets and whatnot. Exactly. But I just don't. I don't know. I can't get into all of that, Kavisha. Yeah, yeah. You understand? I remember once. I mean, I'm like a big cup, and I was like, listen, I want to give me a boob job. Right. My girls were cracking up. They're like, yeah, bitch, your mommy want to get a boob job. She probably want to cut them things out because that's just me yeah you understand lashes nails things like that i get it done and i just want it off because i need to be me you understand and granted you know i was having a conversation with my husband the other day and he's like imagine i looked at him i'm touching his belly oh i'm gosh. like what's up with that you understand i'm so said, i'm turned off by that i'm like listen I'm what if i had a big belly like that yes and he started reading me my miranda rights like, <laughs> listen that's not who you that's not your makeup that's not how you you show up to be in you know yo yo your career doesn't allow you to uh -oh. do that because how you look dictates your clients things like that and mm. it is you know like i have to take a pause you yeah. understand? Because that's how he is seeing me. But that's how society sees you as well. Because at the end of the day, and you guys, it's not even about me playing devil, ab, devil advocate at this point. It's the reality. We like to deal with people that are beautiful. We do. We like to be surrounded with beautiful things. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a fact. And you know, there's something systematic about that as well. We can get into that on the next episode. But at the end of the day, you are in um, an area, in a field, even me, we are in a field where it is apparent. Mm -hmm. You know what, it's it's face value first. It's like, we have to show up a certain way. Right, you know? I'm not so saying how do you don't keep... show up right. as your true self, mm -hmm. okay? But don't you think it's an extreme if I have to get up at five o'clock in the morning to get judged up so my man sees who he met? Like, I, mean, I think yeah. that's extreme. That okay. Might, yeah, that might I be mean, extreme. I mean, in my industry, yes, financial services, you can't come in looking raggedy and, you know, your hair needs to be done right. and things like that. Oh, you out have of to, shape or no, whatever the case may be. You, you can't sell no, anything you, looking crazy. No, you can't because, yeah. you know, in finance, you're selling money. Right. And then money comes a certain look. Absolutely. Okay, there's Absolutely. an appearance that you have to keep. And even when I was doing real estate, same thing. I can't, you know, the, and it's the premise. It's the mindset. It's, it's the mindset. how we were, I guess, trained to, to, to think. Yeah. Okay? We don't have those high expectations of doctors and stuff like that. They just show up any old kind of high. Even when they go out, they right. still don't look. They kind of look frumpy. Right. You understand? Right. They don't zhuzh up, at least the majority. Okay, yes. and I can't speak for everyone, so I don't want y'all knocking on, knocking me down. Come on, oh, what is she talking about? Oh, they want your mask. <laughs> right? That's all right. But 
I just feel sometimes, and going back to what you said, I think our society is, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? And they're perpetuating. Yeah, they're perpetuating. Yeah, for okay. sure. I feel for as sure. if you know, like you said, if you're not part of that in crowd or you don't have this and you don't have that, then you probably don't fit in. Mm. Okay. Yeah. But that's that's not how. That's I don't know if that's you consider that being true to mm. your authentic self mm -hmm. because I feel if you have to do certain things, if you have to sleep with people and you have to do all these extreme things to get something or to have something that's not authentically you. Mm -hmm. And you're doing too much. Yeah. You're yeah. doing too much. And there's going to come a time where you're going to feel empty. Okay. Right. Because you would have looked in the mirror and you would have lost who mm -hmm. you are. Mm -hmm. You know? And, and, and absolutely. And everyone, I believe, comes to a point of reckoning. Mm -hmm. You know? But mm -hmm. while we at it, we got to look good. Ladies, listen. We can't be showing up looking busted and thinking the guy's going to take us serious. Right. Do I think it's a little extreme to get, you know, 5 o'clock, get up at 5 o'clock in the morning and do all that? Maybe. Maybe it is. It, it definitely is extreme because even all that ain't gonna keep him. No, That's absolutely real. not. All that ain't gonna keep him. I think it's way more than that when it comes to relationship. Mm -hmm. For mm -hmm. sure, for sure. And even you know, I'm so, looking. I'm looking at the track. Go ahead. Yeah. You, you have something. Go ahead. No, I wanted to ask you though because that theme is in terms of showing up. Have you ever pretended to be someone, or you know, in a situation, an environment where you pretended, even as a child, like childhood or whatever the case may be? Had has it ever been? A time where you didn't feel that your authentic self will be acceptable in this space be I'm, honest come on no, now I'm, I'm i'm trying to reflect and uh, you know i guess sometimes you know the saying goes mm -hmm. children emulate what they see around them yeah so my mom and my dad were all, were both dressers mm. you understand so we saw that and they bought things for us that you know, showed us up like that. Yeah. You understand? So we naturally, I guess, you know, continue that. We perpetuated that throughout our adulthood. Um, but I think sometimes Perpetuated what? The lifestyle that they provided for us. The lifestyle that they provided. Could you afford that lifestyle? Yeah. Was it a costly lifestyle? Yeah. No, no, no. Was it like bu buying brand name? What exactly was no, no, that no. lifestyle? Well, again, coming from the Caribbean, let's yeah. not go there. Okay, yeah. my my parents didn't really know about design and this and that. Gotcha. Right, but what I do know is my mom bought us quality stuff. We okay. had Italian made clothes. Wow. You know, so she, she was bougie, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Please stop. She was her bougie. Listen, listen. You know how. You can tell that somebody wears nice clothing yeah. and it doesn't have to be designer. Yeah, for sure. It's that sure. kind of look. Got it. You understand? Got it got it got was it. that kind of thing. Because they didn't know like designer, so to speak. You understand? Yeah. They just know that they bought us quality things. So a lot of our shoes and things you would look on the inside and you would see made in Italy. Mm. Right? Then she worked down in Borough Park. Mm. Right? And that area is predominantly Hasidic Jews. Jews. So that's where she shopped for us. Got it, right? Got it. So we kind of always stood out as kids. Mm. You understand? How we dress differently. And people will always say that there's something about you that's different. I'm not one of these people that have to have a logo, yeah. a designer's logo. You understand? But just the way I show up, the quality of things that I wear, you yeah. can see that she's not frumpy. She's not, you know, shopping at Rainbow or whatever. Right. You understand okay, what I'm saying? Love, listen, we love Rainbow. Listen, I love Rainbow. Listen, 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 but I'm just saying. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, for sure. So. There was a, there's a difference. There's a difference. You understand? Yeah. So do I try to fit in? No, I just, you know, when I look at myself, even when I'm standing in queue, I find myself over here. Mm. I don't like to be in the back. I don't like people to be ahead of me, things like that. I always want to be on the outside. Yeah. So that always shows up in whatever it is I'm doing, okay? Got it. Designer, Got it. but do you see a logo? Do you see a name on it? Right, right, right. No, right. you understand? But when I show up, it's like, yeah, I can tell she, you understand? She, she Aside. Yeah. What about you guys? Have you ever pretended to be someone or have you ever shown up in a space where you're not comfortable being your authentic self and you have to show up as someone else? We want to hear from you guys. We got to hear from mm -hmm. you guys. I know for a fact mm -hmm. that has happened to me when I was okay, younger. I was ask you. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I'm not ashamed to say mm -hmm. it because with that you learn right. and you know that you're not going to do that again. I remember working, um, so I actually interned for the Navy when I was younger mm -hmm. and I was only the first, I think I was the only girl there that was from the inner city. 
So mm -hmm. you guys know, um, you know, you know, you're, you're in a new environment, mm -hmm. and how do you, you know, um, you know, you merge mesh. into that. Yeah, how, how do, do you fit mesh? in? Uh -huh. Yeah, how mm -hmm. do you fit in? And so for me, as you guys know, my personality, I can be rambunctious and mm -hmm. fun, and you know, and sometimes. With a personality like mine, you can also get, oh, you're aggressive, or mm -hmm. you're too passionate. Mm -hmm. You already know those cold words. Right, right, right. Cold right, words, right. Cold right? Words. Those cold mm -hmm. words. So for me, I had to tone that down because I knew the climate that I was going to be working in, and I know that the population didn't look like me. Right. So every time I would come, get, you know, go to work, or whatever the case may be, I would always have to tone down my personality. Mm -hmm. And I honestly, I felt stifled. Right. I felt stifled. Right. So I really love that question mm -hmm. that um, we proposed because that's real. As we mm -hmm. walk into 2021, mm -hmm. we can no longer pretend to be someone we are not. You can't follow so, status quo. No, we can't. You know? And I started to say something, um, and I didn't want to interrupt you because yeah. you, know, you had that burning thought on your head, yeah. right? <laughs> so I now, you know, with the whole butt implants and fat yes, transfers, yes, yes. right? I know men were raving yes. right years ago. Now all of a sudden I'm hearing guys flipping the script. They talk about they want natural. Now they want yeah, natural. They oh, that fake good. Oh, now you bought that. I was like, get out of town. Yep. So everything is cyclical. Yes. You understand? Yes. It's a time and space for all of that kind of stuff. Yes. You know? And I think, you know, part of this whole conversation I think stems from a lot of this reality TV. Yes. I think yes. it plays a significant role and it impacts our society tremendously. Yes. You understand? I like looking at the housewives, but I like looking at their fashion. I like yes, looking at their makeup. Too, so, yeah. But all that other content stuff yeah. and fighting and pulling each other with wig and stuff like that. Like I can I can do with the, I can do with all of without all, all of that. that. Mm -hmm. You understand? Absolutely. But really and truly, you know, there's a space for everyone and everything and I guess that's the space for that right now. Yeah. You know? Are those ladies really living their true authentic selves? I don't know. Because they have to have ratings. They have to get ratings. Yes. You understand? Yes, yes, yes. The the more out there you, you put yourself, you understand, you may get a spin-off. Mm. The more money they are probably paid. You know, the better lifestyle that you're gonna live, whatever it looks like. But can I ask you a question? I, again, I gotta go back mm -hmm. to playing devil's advocate because a lot of us talk that talk, right, mm -hmm. Roxanne? Mm -hmm. The reality is the producers at these networks, mm -hmm. the people that's making the decision are not necessarily the one that's feeding that. Mm -hmm. The thirst and the hunger and the appetite come from the viewers. Mm -hmm. So the viewers want to see that. The viewers want to see those pretend, right, but then, you but know? then, But then the producers pressure the cast to do those things. You think so? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. I don't know, Roxanne. I guess absolutely. that's why we we can agree to disagree. Yeah, of course. I of think. Course. I think. I for me, I don't because know. listen, they're getting paid too. You understand, Roxanne? If the it's like you you you're in the financial field. Mm -hmm. It's supply and demand. Right. The supply. If the demand wasn't there, mm -hmm. we wouldn't be supplying it. Mm -hmm. I think as much as we want to act like we all like positive, um, you know, conversations such as this. Like obviously we have mm -hmm. an amazing platform. Mm -hmm. It's about motivation. It's about right. inspiration. Right. It's not salacious. Right. Had it been salacious, had we been talking about trifling things and right. or not show up mm -hmm. as women that are professional mm -hmm. and artic, like we would not necessarily. Had, had it not been, I don't think, or had it been where we were trashy and raunchy and salacious, we would have, I feel that people will come to our channel or we will be um, trending mm -hmm. for the wrong things, mm -hmm. but for the things that everybody likes. Had we been gossiping, right. had we been a gossiping podcast mm -hmm. or reviewing celebrities or whatever the case may be, we would have been trending. Again, that's the demand from the general public. Mm -hmm. We like negative things. We like bad stories. And because yeah. we know it as a society, Roxanne, mm -hmm. I think the producers, like you mentioned, feed into that mm -hmm. and that's what they have to deliver. Mm -hmm. Because we like the drama, I ain't even gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, I, I love my housewife. <laughs> and if nobody inviting, y'all already know, I'm out, deuces, <laughs> it's boring. You gotta have a storyline. Why is that? I Let's like, be real. I, lo I, lo I love it, you understand? I'm like yeah. looking at the storyline. I like to see them go places because they make me want to go to certain places that I see. So all of that is part of the package. Yeah. But does it have to be negative? Does it have to be raunchy? Do we have to always go there? Yes. Show up, you know, show up on each other, mm. you know? That's yeah. the thing that I always, you know, kind of step back from. I'm not that person.
person. Yeah. You understand? I show up. I just want to be glammed out. I just want to look good. I want to. You understand? Listen, you don't want the drama. Me. I don't want the drama. But the people want the drama, the, the, Roxanne. The, well, the people want it. The Y'all people. want the drama, right? <laughs> They, you listen, less is best. You understand? Yeah. If you could kind of control certain, you know, certain elements of your life, listen, try to control it as much as possible. That's yeah. what I try to do. Facts. You understand? So when you talk about trying to fit in and all that kind of stuff, I don't want to be a part of that drama. Mm. You understand? Because even though I'm in the mix sometimes, you understand, you can always, you know, step away from it. Yeah. You don't. You could be in the mix, but not in the mix. Absolutely. If you understand. Yeah, Right. Sure. So you, you look at your surroundings, you kind of look at, you know, what, what impact do you want to have on society mm. you understand we want to leave positive images remember i have three girls yes you understand so i can if i saw remember this is the conversation my mom and dad were a particular way we emulated that mm. okay so imagine now i flip the script and i come out and i'm raunchy and i'm this and i'm all kinds of fabulous okay you don't think my girls are going to do the same thing yeah you understand? Sure. So we always have to kind of do better for the for the next generation, mm. you know. And I listen. I'm not saying I'm a square yeah. by no means. <laughs> right, right, right. You understand? But you know, for me, I think sometimes it's it's too much. Yeah. It's overboard. They doing too much. You understand? Let's yeah. have some kind of positive, you know, in the mix there. Yeah. You understand? Sometimes it's just too much. So is it fair, or can I ask? Do you think by promoting positive affirmation and influential and stuff that's motivational, do you think that's a good selling? Like, do you think that's a good, like, can, can that be sold? Do you think people would be interested in positivity and well, things that, you know? Listen, if it's, true, if it's true and, also, and it's authentic, you're going to have a market for it. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because everybody doesn't want raunchy all day, all night, 24-7, 365. Yeah. You understand? You got to put a, you know, put a pause in it. You understand? Time and a place for everything. Okay? Yeah. So I think, you know, there are going to be elements of the society that's going to be attracted wholly and solely to one thing. And then you're going to have those people who are a little bit more, you know, reserved. Yeah. They want some, you know, educated, you know, uplifting. Listen, what can you teach me? What can you share with me? You understand? Yeah. Like, I think this is a phenomenal view. The yeah, viewers absolutely. might be interested in, oh, wow, we've never gone to the view. And this is a phenomenal space here. Yeah, you understand? So beautiful. different... Strokes for different folks. Yeah. You understand? That's just my take. You I know? got you. So can you show up and, and be your true, authentic self? I think you can. We don't always have to put on a facade. Mm. We don't always have to do it. You understand? Yeah. Absolutely. What do you guys think? Can you really show up as your authentic self? We want to hear from you. We want you guys to subscribe first and foremost, mm -hmm. subscribe to our YouTube, definitely like us on Instagram, share the content. We want this podcast to have your voice. As you guys know, Chop It Up is an unfiltered, unapologetic podcast series by yours truly. We want to be able to help you navigate life mm -hmm. and have these tough conversations and have these real conversations mm -hmm. because enough is enough. There's too many of us that look alike. Right. And there are too many of us trying to fit in in mm -hmm. spaces and in situations that we have no business in. Mm -hmm. I think we need to walk into 2021 as we have arrived and show up as our authentic self. Mm -hmm. Roxanne, the, the, the only the only how you can actually share your gift with us uh, with others is showing up as your true authentic self. Mm -hmm. Because if you're pretending and you're trying to be somebody that you're not, you're stifling. Like you mentioned, you're stifling your yes. true gifts. You understand? So just take a pause. No one's saying you don't have to look good. You don't have to, you know, hey, have hair and makeup and design it. This. No one is saying that. You understand? But we have to stop the ratchetness. Yes. You understand? We definitely have to show up as our true, authentic self and give the world mm -hmm. your gift, what you will, what you were destined to to do or to be. That's buried under all that stuff that you're hiding. Yes. And my thing to that is, are we hiding behind, you know, that facade because we we've, we've been hurt or different mm -hmm. things have happened? You understand? That's is it. That's an interesting topic. You understand? Then. Because that could just be it. Yeah. You understand? We're doing so much to hide who we truly are. Mm. But when the mask comes off, I can genuinely love that person. You understand? Because it's all natural. It's all you. It's you showing up as you. Mm, I got you. You understand? Yeah. So it could be a lot of hurt that we're dealing with and we're trying to show up as somebody else. I mean, I read a book and one of the chapters of the book was called Act As It. Mm. But I think that the author was actually looking for you to show up 
as you in the future. Oh wow. Okay. Wow. So we're on a journey. We yes. just, you know, we just came out of 2020, right? Yes. So we're looking to have some people with resolutions and different things like that, right? So what was that resolution, right? Is it to be a better you, a better version of yourself? You understand? So you have to be able to, you know, shift, make mm -hmm. that shift, show up as you, right? I, you know, People, people always ask, well, were you always this way and are you always... No, yeah. it took time, mm. you understand, for me to get in touch with who I am. Yes. You, we, we really need to, to, to focus on our inner being, you understand? And I do a lot of this. What do you think? I ask for feedback. Yeah. And I don't know if people think that I'm just asking for feedback because I think people are going to tell me, you know, stuff I want to hear. Well, yeah. And really and truly, I don't. I want you to tell me how can I get better. So I remember when I was in corporate America, um, my director used to always um, say to us, um, when you're asking for feedback, you should ask, well, what did I do good? Right. What can I keep? And what can I change? Yes. So anytime I do a presentation or a discussion or what have you, what do you think? You know what? I'm, I mean, I'm just processing everything. Right. But I think, you're, I think you hit the nail. You know, I think you're right. You're absolutely right. Um, we have to. We have to do that. We you have can't to be afraid. Better. You can't be right. afraid. You can't be afraid of criticism. No. That's the only how you're gonna get better. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. We're always working on being a better, a better version, version of, ourselves. of ourselves. Absolutely. You can be better than you were yesterday. You can be better than you were a week, a month, whatever that looks like. Yeah. Right. But if you don't strive to get that feedback, then you're gonna always look in the mirror and think, "Listen, I'm all I'm that. right. I'm I right. Yeah, absolutely. And can. you know what? I must admit, you have challenged me to mm -hmm. do that. Mm -hmm. You have challenged me to do the work. Mm -hmm. Because I know not always we agree, right. but you put me and you make me look at it from a different perspective, mm -hmm. and I have to do the work. Sometimes mm -hmm. I'm just like, oh, forget it. Right. You know what? But the, the beauty, the beauty in our relationship is that you stand true to who you yeah. are, and I have to respond organically to who I am mm -hmm. because you're not fake. You're right. not. You're not a right. fraud. Right. Because we know that there's a lot of folks like that. Right. You know. So I think you're right. I think we have to do the work. Um, we cannot pass the work off. Right. We cannot blame others for right. our shortcoming. Right. We have to sit down in our mess and really focus on how can we be better. Right. Right. As opposed to we have to do oh, the work. We gotta do you the work. Understand? You yeah. gotta do the work. Absolutely. Okay. So, ladies, make sure, okay, your man sees your sees you <laughs> in a natural state that he don't leave you at the salon. Listen, if do he the left work. you, that means he wasn't for you. Okay. Oh. Even if it's ten years. He's in love. Together. He's in love with a facade. Yes. Okay. He needs to figure out your true, authentic self. Okay. Show up as you, as your mama made you. Okay. Right. <laughs> right? You gotta do it. We're glass and all. <laughs> listen, listen. You'd be surprised. Listen, some Make sure you have... well braided up. Listen. <laughs> Girl. Can't be looking like the listen, roots. Listen. Oh no. I told my daughter. You're 2021. 20, I told my daughter. Listen. Girls, do you know that in my time growing up, the only people that wore wigs were yes. like older people? Yes. It is so crazy. crazy. Okay. Yes. I'm like, I just can't. I need to be in touch with. I remember. Mom. I remember, like, remember so as you, crazy. as you said, my grandma. I used to be like, what is she wearing? I would never wear a wig. But man, I'm saying they got the HD wigs. <laughs> Listen, I seen some stuff and I'm like, let's not it. throw one of these on when I feel like getting the hair done. Listen, I'm yeah. not mad at you. Absolutely. But listen. I just love me. I love the natural me. I love the glammed up me, and you know, I'm I'm a I'm, and your man I'm the knows entire, both. I'm the entire yes. package. Yes. Okay, I'm not too far right or too far left. I'm just right. Yeah, you know I Absolutely. know how to switch it up. You know, and I think that's 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 also part of it. Know when and where to do certain things. Yes, right. Yeah, right. Yes. It's not like yeah, you're doing too much. You're doing too much. First of all, I'm not waking up five o'clock for nobody. Nah. If it ain't meditating and getting my mind right. right. You know what? I'm not waking up five o'clock, so that ain't happening. And I think, like you said, you know what? We in society now, we we are too. Focus on the external. external. This is we, what I'm saying. Yeah. It's too superficial. Yeah. It's too superficial. It's too superficial. You gotta do the We've work. lost yeah. sight of who we really are. But listen, as we wind up and, and talk about losing sight, okay? Yes. Hello. Listen, what time is it? It's a, it's time to chop it's, it up and go. It's, it's <laughs> time to wrap it up, okay? Yeah. So, 
Guys, it has been a phenomenal, phenomenal discussion. I love chopping it up with my girl, Kamisha here. Um, we're definitely looking forward to our next episode, episode eight. Um, what do you think we should talk about? We gotta keep them, give them an element of surprise. We got a really amazing guest mm -hmm. for episode eight. And we go, listen, this is gonna be a juicy conversation. Mm -hmm. You do not wanna I miss this one. Juicy. Listen, <laughs> this is 2021. And one of our goals is really bringing in conversation that makes sense, that's mindful, and conversation that's gonna help you grow mm -hmm. as an audience. So stay tuned for episode eight. You do not wanna miss it. Make sure you hit that notification button. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment. Listen, you guys, we do this for you. We want to build out a community of trailblazers. So we want to thank you so much for tuning in to this amazing conversation. And we hope that, listen, you live the best life possible. That's right. Any last words, my girl? Listen, just some gems that I want to leave you with, guys. Look for somebody who has your best interests at heart. Look for that person who can genuinely give you some positive feedback okay when i say positive the good the bad the indifferent because we have to take it all okay a negative does not always have to be taken as a negative that can be a vitamin for you to do better to, for you to grow and learn because we didn't all arrive you know as a perfect being it's about growth it's about the journey and enjoying the journey so until next time your girl commission and i do it do it